Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, and now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts, Mr. Shenanigans himself, and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lee Mission Yannigans of 1977. How's it going, everybody? And this is episode 966 of the show and episode um, 60 of Martin Dale Monday. Now, first and foremost, before I want to get started, I want you guys to wholly support, uh, to uh, please support um, MVG Productions and Kevin Henry. Um, both um, Kevin Henry has been part of MVG Productions for a few years now. And we just found out that his channel, WKPH Cincinnati, has been taken down. Um, due to the idiots over at the Warner Brothers Discovery, I would not be surprised that David Zaslav has something to do with this. Um, <clears throat> but um, they terminated his channel without any warnings. He, Kevin Henry has been a perfect gentleman when it came to um, YouTube. All right, when it came to YouTube. But without warning, without telling them, oh, you got to strike on this and all that, without warning, they took down this channel. And I don't know why that even happened. It's not fair to him. But he's going to try his best to, you know, get all... That's why I save my videos and put them on a high... Um, put them in a drive. That way, you know, just in case if something happens to my channels, I got, I got them as backup. But... <clears throat> There's no doubt in my mind that um that you know MVG Productions you know Brandon Scruggs and Kevin Henry worked very hard as a team to make sure that MVG Productions runs well. Please support MVG Productions. Get if you're a game show fan like myself, give them your support. You know and you know and you know be encouraging to them um, to Kevin Henry, Brandon Scruggs, and the rest of the gang over at MVG Productions. Um, this is a free shout out. I'm not gonna do the tree fitty thing, but this is a free shout out to them because you know, and I'm sure they're gonna they do they would appreciate the support. And uh, I'll tell you what, you know, I I pray that Kevin gets gets his channel back. And uh, you know, so Kevin and Brandon, if you're watching this, love you, man. You love you guys. You guys are awesome, and um, you got my full support. So, uh, <clears throat> so if you guys don't mind. And I'm doing this. I'm doing this just for you guys. You know how this works. Twenty round battle. You know the drill. You know how this works. Oh, by the way, also tomorrow the Halloween special is going to be Barry and Enright Mania. That's where I'll be dressed as L A Knight. Yeah, and we'll remind you whose game is it because I'll be taking on the three scary Barry and Enright vill villains. You're talking about the devil from Joker's Wild, dummy. Yeah. I'm talking about the dragon from Tic Tac Doe. Dummy, yeah. And the lightning bolt from Bullseye. Dummy, yeah. And this time around, it'll be just 10 rounds each. But I'll be playing, uh, I'll also be playing the Joker's Wild and Bullseye on regular on the regular days as well. So, check it out if you can. And I'll I'll, I'll try to advertise it. And we're going to have some little bit of fun with Barry and Enright Mania. So, it'll be L.A. Knight. Versus the dragon, the devil, and the lightning. The 301 matchup. Who's going to win at Barry and Enright Mania? That'll be really cool. Alrighty then. You know what? Let's go. Let's do this. And we're going to have some fun here. And let's go. Shuffle it everything up. In order to practice for Barry and Right Mania, I'm going to go in the 20 round battle against the Dragon. Let's try number four to start it off. 500 bucks. Let's try number seven. Oh, that's not how we want to start off this show, don't we? Do we? Alright, new. No. So, it is one nothing. The Dragon. After round one. Let's, let's find out where everything else was. Tack and tick, two and eight. Okay. All right, then let's shuffle everything up for round two. And round two, let's find round two. 500 bucks. Let's try four. Double it. Tick. Let's try number six. 150. Let's try number eight. 300. Let's try number five in the middle. Tack and I got it. I got the tack. And Super Mario game, a one up, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we got the corners there. One, three, seven, and nine. So, 
Let's find Ooh. out where the dragon was behind number nine, biggest amount on the board. And since I gave MVG production shout out, if I hit 250 and 100 in the first three calls, it will be an MVG production shout out. I've already done that. So let's go and shuffle everything up. Alrighty then. Uh, round number three. Let's try three. Tack. Let's try seven. 100. Let's try nine. 250. Up. Oh, 350. 350. Brandon Sonny Scruggs, yeah. Kevin Henry, yeah. Corey Lawrence, yeah. Jason Myers, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Marty Bingo, yeah. Mar uh, Mark Leota, yeah. Jose Cazares, yeah. Richard Montgomery, yeah. Um, Neil Sternsky, yeah. David St. Dennis, yeah. Jason DeCangio, yeah. Um, Nell Snezrod, yeah. Uh, AJ Richards, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Davon Baker, yeah. Cedric Willispoon, yeah. And everyone else over there, MVG Productions, I hit tree fitting. Let's get the other corner. Number one. Take it, I get it. <clears throat> and it's and it's two to one, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. All right, two, four, four through six, and eight. Who do we not appreciate here? The dragon was behind number five. I kind of knew it would be behind, behind the last odd number. All righty then, round number four. Let's see if four is good. Tick, let's try number six. Oh! And it's a Chuck Woolery game, folks. I haven't seen, and, you know. It is two and two. Okay. Where was attack, dude? Number two. I should all right, round number five. Round five. Five, five. 150. Try seven. 100. Let's try eight. Tick. Let's try number nine. 300. Let's try number four. Oh, and number four bit me. Number four bit me with the dragon, folks. It is three to two. Oh, righty then. Where was the tack? Darn it, number one. Alrighty then, round number six. Let's try number six. One hundred. Let's try number nine. Tick. Let's try number one. Three hundred. Let's try number two. Tack, and I got it. <clears throat> it is a tie score, folks. Six up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's find out where that dragon was lurking. Which number was it this time? It would be number seven. Unlucky number seven. All right. Speaking of seven, is seven a lucky number? Let's find out. It was, the dragon was there. Tack. Let's try number nine. 300. Let's try number five. 150. Let's try number eight. Ticket. I got it again. It is four to three, ladies and gentlemen. All right, one through four and six. Where was that? All right, number four. I had to be monster. I was thinking of going number four, but I decided well, I'm going number eight, and I did it. All right, then. Speaking of eight, it is the eighth round. Eighth round. Let's go number eight. Five hundred bucks. Let's try number seven. Tack. Let's try number nine. Three hundred. Let's try number five. One fifty. Let's try number four. Wow, there you go. After eight rounds, it's five to three. I'm in the lead. Again, I stay away from the Sean Waltman row. And, okay. Ooh, Dragon's behind number two. Tickle's behind number three. Number three. <clears throat> All right. Round number nine. What's behind nine? Tack. Let's try number one. Number uno. All right. And 150. Let's try number two. Ticking. I'm good. After nine rounds, six to three, ladies and gentlemen. This is good stuff, folks. All right, three through eight. Which number was not so great? Number four. Number four would shut the door, but let's go to round number ten. Time to do some additions. So let's go nine plus one. Nine plus one is ten. All right, let's go seven plus three, seven. Oh, seven was not the number. Seven was not the number. So, but I'm still in the lead, six to four. Alrighty then, after 10 rounds, what was behind number 3? Oh, 4! Four. 4 would have been the number that would give me the win. But, 5 and 8, tick and tack respectively. Let's go round number 11. 7 plus 4, 7. Plus 
4 is 11. All right, 9 plus 2, 9 plus 2 is 11. There you go. It's 7 to 4. 7 to 4. Okay, still, okay. 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, which number, again, not so great. Number 8. Okay, round 12. Here we go. Round 12, let's go 9 plus 3. 9 plus 3 is 12. 300. 5 plus 7, 5. Oh, don't need the 7. 8 to 4 is the score. After 12 rounds, let's find out what was behind number 7. If I picked it, no, I would been safe. The number that would I avoid would 2. I did that. And 4 and 8 would be the other numbers I would have picked for Tick and Tack. Alrighty then. I would add number 12. Okay, round 13. Let's go 9 plus 4, 9. Oh, forget that idea. It is 8 to 5. 8 to 5. Now, what numbers also added? 6 and 7 added to 13. It will be 2 and 5, Tack and Tick, respectively. All the other numbers were good. Four would have been 300 bucks instead. All right, then, round 14. Let's use the Bob Dolly Partner Connection. Nine, two, five, nine, plus five. 150. Um, let's see, eight plus six. Eight plus six. There you go. And it's a Dolly Parton game. And it's a Dolly Parton game. Nine, two, five. Okay. That means one through four and seven, which number was not heaven. Number three, tick and tack, two and four, respectively. All right, then, round 15. Let's see, seven plus eight is 15. Let's try seven. Plus eight is 15. Um, nine plus six. Let's go nine plus six. There you go. After 15 rounds, it's 10 to five, ladies and gentlemen. So I voided the first five numbers on the board. Dragon War Warrior, number one. First number tackles behind number two. Round 16. Now, if I hit this, it would be my 11th win. Now, if it was a 10... Uh, <clears throat> um, let's go number 9 plus 7. 9 plus 7. 9 plus 7 is 16. Okay, um, let's try 8. Oh, and 8. So I've yet to get my first... Get my 11th win. It is 10 to 6. Um, okay, so the first six numbers I did not pick out of the deal. Tick was... Oh, it was above the dragon, number 5. Okay. <clears throat> Round 17. 9 plus 8 are the only two numbers I had. If I keep this up, then my math thing could be off. And it's 10 to 7. The dragon wants to play some catch-up. 10 to 7, where it was. Everything else was good. 5 and 7, tick and tack, respectively. Round number 18. All right, we're going to pick numbers. Uh, 7, 5. Ugh. Come on. This is getting quick here. 10 to 8. Dragon playing a little bit of catch up here. All I need is one lousy win. All right, where were tick and tack? Three and six. All right. Round number 19. Let's try number three. 100. Let's try... Okay, 250. Let's try number seven. 500. Let's try number four. Four. What in the world of EO Sky is going on here? Ten to nine. The Dragon was on a three-game... A four-game winning streak. And I got one more round. Uh, all right. Take it. Two, one and six. Come on. All I need is one win. That's all I need. Number six. 250. Number nine. 100. Let's try number eight. 400. Let's try number seven. Tick. Let's try number four. <sighs> it's a tie score. That means we're going to go sudden death. I feel like... I feel like I was collapsing, like the Bruins did against the Anaheim Ducks. Ten up. All righty then. One, two, three. Oh, number five. All right. Sudden death round coming. Number two. Number five. Number nine. 
Number four. I am ashamed of myself. I am ashamed. I am ashamed. Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize. I had it. I thought I would have it in the bag. But I ended up. It's 11 to 10. Hope I can do better in the Barry and Enright Mania um, portion of the Halloween special tomorrow. <sighs> Unbelievable. Hopefully I don't deal with the dummy dragon. So. With that being said. Where was everything else before we close this thing out? Where was Tack? Number 8. Uh, so that's all the time we have on the show. Thank you for tuning in. After Trebek Tuesday tomorrow, we'll get right into Barry and Enright Mania. So I'll see you guys later. You guys have a blessed, blessed day or a blessed night because it's already night out here. Thank you for tuning in. Until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with a sweet both of raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now. <laughs>